So, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I decided to do it a little differently. Um, I'm actually kind of wanting to explore talking through the videos lately. I haven't been doing that, but um, right now I'm feeling a little more rejuvenated and exhausted lately. But regardless or not, here I am. So today I'm going to do a unofficial no foundation look again. I really do love the look, um, but every now and then I still use foundation. So I don't want you to misunderstand me. And now since I started using the powder foundation, I um I like it, but I've been trying to add it onto my no foundation look and I'm not a fan of it. So I'm gonna stick with the no foundation look completely today. And I'll probably start exploring some other options eventually, but right now it's like my go-to because it's so easy. It doesn't feel like I'm not feeling makeup, if that makes sense. So, all right, so let's kind of start. Also, there's no music because I kind of want to talk with you guys a little bit today. So I, um, so my face right now, I've already done my prepping. Um, I'll list everything down below that I used to prep, but, um, I've already done the prepping part, so we're not going to be doing that. And today I've, I've also done the primer. So again, we're not doing any of that right now. Um, today I'm going to be using my Juvia's Place bronzer and the shade Coco. So everything is going to be listed down below, but I figured I'd show you guys anyways. We're gonna be using that. And we're going to be using my e.l.f. Gorge Orange Blush. I've been really liking this blush lately. It's, I've actually really liked how it kind of blends more with my skin than the Juvia's Place one. The Juvia's Place is really nice. Don't get me wrong, I still love my pink. Um, Juvia's Place Peach Rose. So this is the Juvia's pa piece. Uh, Juvia's Place Peach Rose. I really do love this one. Um, it's really nice. It's really nice. The color is very pigmented. It's beautiful. I do still use that. So don't misunderstand me, but I'm going for a more earthier look, if that makes sense. So, and I know it makes sense. You know, these earth tones are beautiful on my skin and I love it. Um, I'll also be using the NYX Matte Setting Spray. Um, I've just been using this matte finish on uh, NYX one because when I use the Urban Decay All Nighter, I'm, I don't know, I'm, maybe I'm not understanding or seeing the hype. So I may try to use it in this video, but let's see I'll, I'll do it in this video actually but normally my go-to is my nyx so i'm just giving you that heads up but i'm gonna try it again in this video I, but obviously i'm gonna be using it up until i'm done because uh, we don't throw things away around here unless of course you have an allergic reaction which we'll talk about that um and i'll be using my Givenchy prism libre in the shade color Pope line mimosa. Be very clear because when I first went and I picked it up, I picked up the wrong one. And I didn't realize it until I got all the way over on my vacation in Korea and Japan. So I did not open it. I returned it. But yes, I, I learned that. Make sure you know the difference. Um, at the end, I'll be using the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Power Powder. I like it, but I don't know if I'm noticing a difference. So, and when I say a difference, I mean like, I think the first night I used it, I did see that, you know, it, it didn't leave me extra oily. I, I still had oil though. So I may need to figure out what to do about that. But I like my face moisturized, but I have to find like a common ground where I guess it is normal. Cause at the end of a full day, it, it makes sense to have some excess oil, but then one night I used it, but then I also used the powder foundation and, um, my makeup was kind of, you could tell like it was 
I don't know. I'm going to not explain it, but I'll get better at talking once I understand the right terms. So, and then my favorite, my Lancome All Over Concealer. So, she will be getting a break from me. Um, This is the color Sue, S-U-E. She will be getting a break from me because pretty soon you'll be seeing some new things coming my way. So pretty excited about that, but we'll talk about that later. Um, Yeah, so I'm going to be using that concealer. And I'm going to try to make this a quick makeup. Uh, so I use the Vaseline Lip Therapy. Well, that's just to moisturize my lips. Um, and then what I'll be putting on is my two favorite NYX Butter Glosses in the shades Spiked, Toffee, and Lava Cake. So I'm pretty, I love those. Those are like my staples. And I'll probably be adding some of my Glam Glow, Glow Starter, Nude Glow. I use this when I don't wear makeup. I use this when I do wear makeup. I use this pretty much everywhere, so... Um, I just like the glow that it gives and it doesn't like overpower my look. So yeah. And I think that is it. And I also already did my eyebrows. Again, everything's going to be listed down below. I just didn't have the patience to do it all on video because we all know that it does take me a very long time. Sometimes my videos are over an hour and I don't know. I just... I feel like I should be faster at this, but I am new to this, so I do have to give myself some sort of, what's the word I'm looking for? I give myself a break, but regardless or not. So anyways, so what I'll first be going, um, doing, going into or putting on is my concealer. So I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. I do see a lot of makeup artists and people I see on TikTok and uh, Instagram and, you know, on YouTube, they let it sit. So I try the method. What I don't, did I like it last time where I didn't put the, okay, so what I'm going to do to, I'm going to try this method that I saw where, they put the I'm gonna use a buffing brush don't judge me if I'm using these brushes in the wrong order I'm trying here okay um so yeah so I'm gonna I sprayed some I sprayed two times I'm not gonna do it again because you know and I'm just gonna put it here ah and it gets in my eye Cause I want to, I want to see if it actually did. I don't know if it did um make a difference. Cause I can't remember. Cause I think in the last, my last makeup look where I, um, cause I did like a quick one for work and I wanted to record, but it was a hectic morning. I was running super late. So, um, oh, I'm going to let that sit for a little bit before I get all concealer happy. I'm gonna start actually with the bronzer. So yeah, let me go ahead and do that now before I change my mind again and try to do something else because God knows. And I'm using the all over eyelid brush. Like I said, do not judge me. I know brushes make a difference, but until I learn, I'm gonna use what I have, what I got and see what I can do. But suggestions are always welcome. I told you guys that. I do love suggestions, just not rude suggestions or rude comments or, you know, it's one thing to give advice and suggestions, but then it's one thing to be rude. So, um, all right, so I'm gonna let that dry. But in the meantime, I'm going to start adding my bronzer. You know what's the weird part? I'm noticing... And maybe you guys know what that is, but I'm noticing like I'm really light here and then I get really dark right in here. Like right here, it gets darker and then down here it gets darker. But I don't know if y'all know what that is or not, but I'm trying to figure out why. I don't know if it's like a, the sun thing. Also, just an FYI, I don't use sunscreen right now. I know, I know, 
please do not hate me. <laughs> or not hate me, but please do not like judge me. I don't use sunscreen right now. Once I get to that point where I find one that's like, I don't know, like one that I like, then maybe, but for now, I don't use sunscreen. I'm trying to I'm gonna hold off on putting more because I'm trying to figure out where I want her. Okay, so I usually go in and add more at a later time, but for now I'm just gonna leave it the way it is because you know. And now I'm gonna add the concealer because under my eyelids are dry. I should have probably put it pretty much like everywhere that I can, I don't know. No, let's leave it alone. My main concern is under my eye. I don't want it creasing and like spreading all over the place. I gotta get my mirror closer, girl. Your girl can't see that good. I wear glasses, so. It's another thing that makes it kind of hard too because my makeup gets all my glasses and it's kind of annoying. It's very annoying actually, but it's annoying because it also kind of like, I don't know, creases it. So what I was trying to do was figure out if I should put the concealer all around my eyelid, but Lately, I have not been liking how that looks. I'm kind of looking like a raccoon in its own, like, brown form. It's weird. I don't like it. I don't like how it looks. If I'm being honest, I don't like it. But, you know, I'm not a natural at this. I'm not, like, an expert. But everybody's different. You guys tell me what you guys like. But for me... I am not a fan of the raccoon. <laughs> I feel like it looks like a raccoon to me. It does. It really does. All right, let's see. Um, I'm going to use my flat kabuki brush for my bronzer. And so what I do, oh, so this is the flat kabuki brush. Um, what I kind of do is I drag it. I know they say to like blah, blah, blah. Everybody's different. So to be honest, I, I don't know if everyone says that, but a lot of the um, people that I follow say to blot, but I don't like how it looks when it, when it blots. Like I kind of like the rub effect, but I guess I'll understand better once I get better at it, why the rub effect is, I guess, not ideal. But I guess maybe everybody does things differently. Maybe there are people who like the rub effect. So I know I like the rub effect because I feel like it spreads out better on my head, on my on my face, excuse me, on my head, <laughs> on my face. It spreads out better. When I do the blotting, I notice like later on that it doesn't come out right. You know what I mean? Um, let me see. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. But I know if I rub too, there's a problem with that because of the <sighs> the other products. Like the, you know, obviously you prepped your face. So, so you know what I'm talking about. But this is about the only one. Did I use the concealer brush on the concealer last time? Ah, I did not. So what did I use my concealer with last time? Your girl is drawing a blank. I thought I used this. So this is um, a square foundation brush that I use on my concealer too. I kind of use this too every now and then. This is an actual concealer brush, but I don't know. Lately, I like the 
flat foundation but the brush and this i tap i tap and i kind of round it out but i also i round it out to my corners of my eye as you can see But I that now I remember why there's none on here. So did I like how it came out? I've been using the puff because makeup artists say that they notice a difference increasing. So I do remember using this, but I'm gonna use both because just a little bit, not too much. Because I feel like this takes off concealer. I don't know. It. I feel like it takes too much off. Like it doesn't, um, like you'll see what I'm saying in a second. Ah, guys, I'm running a uh, go on uh, mentality. Just go back in with it again because the side was since i used it it kind of like and i know a lot of girls go in with other concealer colors and i i tried that but i bought it in a different brand and boy did i learn my lesson nasty with the because i think my lancome is one thing and is and and we'll talk about that because, you know, this is my first talking video. So I'm really like, uh, what's the word? A little, a little excited. So I'm forgetting my toms and everything and what I'm supposed to be saying and I'm not supposed to because I'm kind of just talking with you guys, which is a lot easier. Um, but the terms that I'm talking about is I think I'm like mixing my... Uh, Oh no, what's it called? Mixing the watch. water based with the other one. So I mixed two different concealers thinking that it would come out cute and not paying attention and yeah, it definitely didn't. I'm just adding excess concealer because of because I'm not putting any like really under my eyes right now I'm gonna blend it out in a little bit I like the look right here I'm gonna do this so to change the subject I'm kind of doing like a live recording so you'll notice the groundhog did not see his shadow did I say that right? So we're getting early spring. So I said, yay. I know it's like really random to be happy about, but I'm happy because it has been very cold. And not only cold, it's been very annoying. I like it better when it's nice and warm and I don't know. I like the heat. I don't really care what anybody says. I don't know, maybe because my parents are island, so. But I like the heat. It's one thing if it's like too hot and it's overbearing. Yeah, I get it, but that's what we have AC for, right? That's how I view it. All right, so time to blend. So what I've been doing is adding the blush beforehand, but... I want to add it after this time because I kind of want it to pop more. So I'm going to blend a little more. I kind of want it to. All right, let's see. And normally I kind of go up more, but I kind of went, I was slacking today because I'm trying to do a rush look 
to give you guys. And then also, because I got to go. I'm supposed to be out of here by now, but I've been trying to do a video too. I feel like there's enough, there's enough up here. Usually I have more. But like I said, I've been trying to, trying to find a balance of it. But yeah, anyways, um, trying to blend it out. It's not so dark here. I mean, not like it's dark, but you know, you get my drift. <laughs> I think that should be good. <sighs> All right, so. Now I'm going to do a little blush and then blend her out. And I like it on my nose. All right, so you see? All right, I'm going to move all the ones that I've already used over. Da Vinci for under my eyes. It's so cute because if Da Vinci comes with a little powder puff. But I try to just do it under my eyes. I don't really care too much about it in my T-zone, which reminds me, I kind of want to blend that out too, because sometimes the concealer do be concealing, you know what I mean? There we go. I know it sounds weird what I'm trying to say and do, but I like it. I like it. All right, so now I'm gonna do my concealer and I mean my uh, blush with my eyeshadow brush. And that I definitely dab because I I kind of like the look it gives off. Like it over my nose. And I kind of like bringing it up, but what I'll probably do is I was actually supposed to put it under and I did forget, but you know what it's fine i wanted to try it a little differently i don't like to try to do it the same every time i like to see what different results i get so we'll see what i get with this <laughs> but um yeah oh <laughs> kind of added a more concealer -y touch to it if you get much right <laughs> this I'm just putting the bronzer over it not really but like a little bit to kind of bronze it out so I don't want to put the concealer on it all right so all right so when I say I'm really like pressed for time I, I didn't lie I am pressed for time I'm actually I think I went over my time but regardless or not I think I did pretty good for time. Right now I'm just using my
Your girl was pressed for time. Boy, definitely went over. But... I normally put like a gloss over it, but and the finishing powder. I don't think I'm I, I'm not gonna use that today because I really want to see if I'm like maybe this is why I'm having a problem. I have to put a lot. I really do. I feel like if I don't put a lot, it's gonna be extra. So maybe that's the problem. Maybe it should just be one or two mists. I don't know. You guys tell me. And um, all right, so this is the look right now i'm gonna record i guess like after like everything when i'm done um to kind of give it like a look i decided not to put the finishing powder or put any excess powder around my face because honestly lately i, I have not been liking that but we'll see how today goes if i get the oily greasy and whatever the situation is but here's the look um jesus to the end today um why does one always want to be the one to leave the party early? All right. So anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up and then I'll give you guys uh, another look or basically this is the look. This is going to be the end of the video. And then I'll probably post like some photos later on on my social media. So um, if you guys like the video, like, subscribe and if you tune into my other channels, like through TikTok, Instagram, you should be able to see like how it looked later on in the day, how it looks in the sunlight when I take photos. But either way, um, thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully the next video is not as hectic, but I hope you guys like this one. Thank you. <laughs>